Find the derivative of f of x equals 6x to the third times the square root of 5 minus x squared. First thing you want to realize is that this problem is the same as 6x to the third times the quantity of 5 minus x squared to the 1 half power. Second thing I want to look at is that at its core, this derivative will require the product rule. There's two factors, 6x to the third and 5 minus x squared to the 1 half power. Now let's realize that in the second factor, 5 minus x squared to the 1 half power, the derivative will require the chain rule. Let's differentiate according to the product rule. The product rule states that the derivative of a function that includes two factors is the first factor unchanged, 6x to the third in this case, times the derivative of the second factor. And the derivative of the second factor, 5 minus x squared to the 1 half, requires the chain rule. I'm going to write the 1 half in front of the quantity of 5 minus x squared, and then decrease that power, 1 half by 1. 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. And then multiply by the derivative of 5 minus x squared, which is negative 2x. That's the first factor, 6x to the third, unchanged, times the derivative of 5 minus x squared to the 1 half. The second term in this derivative is the first or the second factor unchanged, the 5 minus x squared to the 1 half power unchanged, times the derivative of the first factor. The first factor's derivative is much simpler than the second factor's derivative. The derivative of 6x to the third is simply 18x squared. I'm going to take a step and multiply 6 times x to the third times 1 half times negative 2x, and that will give me negative, the 1 half and the 2 multiply together to be 1, 6, x to the power of, well, I have an x to the third and an x to the fourth, x to the fourth times the quantity of 5 minus x squared to the negative 1 half, plus, and for the second term, I'll just write the 18x squared in front of 5 minus x squared to the 1 half power. I'll take a look at the two terms now and identify a common factor that I can bring out to the front. Between negative 6 and 18, I'll factor a negative 6 out to the front. Between x to the fourth and x to the second, I'll factor an x squared out to the front. Between 5 minus x squared to the negative 1 half and 5 minus x squared to the positive 1 half, I'll factor out a quantity of 5 minus x squared. And just like between x to the fourth and x to the second, I took the lower power on x out to the front. I'll take the lower power on these two quantities out to the front as well. The lower power is negative 1 half. So that's the greatest common factor, negative 6x squared times 5 minus x squared to the negative 1 half. And I'll rewrite both terms inside of brackets with the, with the GCF divided out of it. The first term originally had a negative 6, but I took it out to the front. The first term originally had an x to the fourth, but I took an x squared out to the front means that I'm left with x squared in the first term inside the bracket. The first term also included 5 minus x squared to the negative 1 half, but that's exactly what was factored out to the front, so I don't have to write anything there. The second term included an 18, but I factored a negative 6 out to the front, which means I'm left with negative 3. I had an x squared, but I factored x squared out to the front. I had 5 minus x squared to the 1 half, I factored out 5 minus x squared to the negative 1 half. And what I'm going to do to identify how many factors of 5 minus x squared that I'm left with, and by the way, on this line above, this should just say 5 minus x squared. To figure out how many factors of 5 minus x squared I'm left with, I'm going to subtract 1 half, the original exponent, minus what I've taken out to the front, which is negative 1 half. 1 half minus negative 1 half is 1. I have two things to do before I can call this my final answer. First, the quantity with a negative exponent that's been factored out to the front, I'll write that in the bottom of a fraction. And second, I'll distribute the negative 3 and combine like terms inside the brackets. So I have negative 6x squared in a numerator. The denominator is going to include the quantity of 5 minus x squared to the positive 1 half power. And then inside the brackets, I have 
x squared plus, plus and then negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. And negative 3 times negative x squared is plus 3x squared. There's some like terms there inside the parentheses at this point. x squared and 3x squared makes 4x squared. And instead of writing plus negative 15, I'll just write minus 15 all over, and instead of writing 5 minus x squared to the 1 half power, I'll write five, the square root of 5 minus x squared. The final answer is negative 6x squared times the quantity of 4x squared minus 15, all over the square root of 5 minus x squared.